react. And g- get this. God loves you, and Jesus Christ died on the cross to prove that love with no guarantee. He would have loved you even if you were never going to love him. Did you know that? God isn't waiting for you to love him so he can love you. No, he just loves you. So this is love. Not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent his son as the sacrifice that deals with our sins. So what's the opposite of love? Hate. Wrong. Fear. Fear is the opposite of love. Jealousy. Fear is the opposite of love. And what season are we in? Fall. Spooky. What's tomorrow? Halloween. 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 I was talking to Brock the other day, and we were talking about how it's so funny, it's so funny how Halloween started as like this tiny little holiday, and it's just blown up into like a whole culture. Like Halloween is bigger than Christmas for some people. That's crazy. Because Halloween is based on fear. We are in a season of fear. You go to haunted houses. Why do you go to a haunted house? Oh, because my friends wanted to be... No, you go to a haunted house because you want to be scared. You watch scary movies because you want to be scared. And those are like weak examples of fear, honestly. Those are weak examples of fear. They are. Look, oh, oh. (laughs) Scary movies don't scare me. I just don't sleep after I watch them. (laughs) Haunted houses don't really scare me. I just have to sleep with the light on after I go to work. But those are weak examples of fear. Those are just like jump scares. 